It's not very often that our paparazzi manage to snap shots of the interior, but they made it this time. We got just one picture, but it's enough to confirm what we already know, that the CLS cabin will be heavily based on current design language that we already saw in the E and S class. The clock placed lower and center stack rather than between the AC is a solid hint that the E-Class was used as inspiration here, but the overall layout is actually common to all current Mercedes-Benz sedans, including the compact C-Class. There aren't many features that set the CLS apart. The center console is pretty much identical to the A-Class, including the gear shifter and the AC controls. The dashboard is very similar too, with the instrument cluster and infotainment displays placed next to each other. However, there are certain elements that make the CLS unique. For starters, the AC vents have a propeller-like design granted, it's not as elegant as the horizontal slat layout in the other sedans, but it has a nice, sporty vibe to it. The sedan is also fitted with green ambient lighting, which makes the center console, lower dashboard, and AC vents look as if they have similar highlights. I'm a big fan of green and I kinda wish they would. Everything else seems to be standard E-Class business, but more unique features should surface as the vehicle moves closer to production. Pricing for the new generation model should increase slightly. The outgoing sedan is now priced from $66,900, but the final sticker of the upcoming model will depend on what version will be used as a base offering. A similarly equipped four-door coupe should retail from around $68,000. As far as the AMG version goes, expect it to cost a bit more than $100,000.